don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I was coming out here to take my forms off uh, so I could get my termite pretreatment. And being a bit of a pain, because of course all this that pushed up underneath, um, which when we poured it, I figured we'd break off fairly easily, it is not breaking off fairly easily at all. So I'm going through now and unscrewing as much as I can. And then I'm going to be uh, getting a pickaxe and uh, a sledgehammer and basically breaking off all the spill. And in hindsight, I should have come through with a uh, shovel or something and just pushed all this out of the way. Because of course now it's hardened. Here's a spot that you can see I knocked out. Not as easy as it looks or as I thought. I thought I would just break right off. So big clumps like this are going to be a real pain. Um, I think most of it will still go pretty smoothly once I get a good system down. Um, went ahead and brought out uh, two loads of AB3 so I can start filling the inside up. Um, again, I'm going to use a lot of my dirt pile over there, which is a good mix of clay and uh, packs real good. I'm going to put a good layer of that down and then do a uh, layer of AB3 on top of that. So call the pest guy and told him to hold off on our pretreatment. So you pretreat around your foundation so the uh, termites don't start coming up around your footings and then get into your house. So uh, that'll be a good probably 10 year warranty on the uh, treatment. So anyways, back to work. So I'll let you know I screwed up. Okay, yesterday was bone breaking or back breaking. I really kicked my butt. Luckily, uh, Natalie's dad came out and helped uh, unscrew things while I popped them off. So, um, cleaning up, that's my last load of little stick debris and everything. The uh, pest control guy should be out today to uh, spray our footings. And then I've got uh, a local store only had one roll of drain tubing that I need to put around the outside. So I'm going to have to try something else, but I'm going to start in that corner, run down here, and then turn 90, and I should get about 10 foot to the end before I'm out. And I'm going to need uh, two more rolls at least. That'd be 300 feet. Um, and I'm going to shoot it out past my truck here and into the ditch and on down. So on this side, I'm not going to follow the curve in and around and back because that's going to be concrete. I'm just going to run it straight across. So it'll be a 70-70 and then 40-40. And, 40. Um, and then I'll be able to uh, put a T right here so they tie together and then trench them down and out. So hopefully get that. Well, I have to get that done after they spray. That's the next thing. Make sure I've got a slope to it. And then I'll backfill against the footing on the outside and that way I can roll up a little closer and then dump into the inside. And then at some point, so my row here and my row on the back side and all these inner ones are load bearing. On the outside here, these are not. So my thought is I can come in from this side, dump into here and dump. And a little bit over there, I can probably dump from this side maybe without rolling, um, going over the footing. And then on that side, I can come in from multiple places once I get it smoothed out and just drive right over the, uh, the footing and then start filling in the inside. So I'm going to have to bend over some of that rebar over there um, and start filling it in. So cleaned up some of my burn pile mess. I got my junk pile right in front of us. And the last little bit burning over there. And then I've got one more burn pile actually way over there where I cut some stuff down. The uh, hunter finally came out and got his stands um, down. So when we bought the land, you know, there was a hunting lease on it. And we, um, unfortunately, that lease had already renewed by the time we bought the land. So we uh, renegotiated the lease and uh, cut off uh, the land around our house and basically the whole west side from him hunting. So on drainage, um, of course, this land's higher than where the slab's going to be, so I've got to create a dip in here. So I'm going to level all this down to uh, the same level as the slab, and then I'm going to create a dip 
some are out here and have it run uh, to the east. And once it gets over there, it'll it'll dump down into the, uh, it'll just flow naturally at that point. But I can't have it going to the west because we're gonna have a sunroom right here. So right about there is gonna be a door into a 20 foot sunroom. And then this will be, the house will sit out here. So I can't uh, have it drain this way or be draining right into the house. So I've got to shoot it the other way. Um, when I put the slab in over here though for the, for the um, um, sunroom, I'll probably go ahead and at least put a pipe or two under it. So it, if it fills up really bad, it can drain out, but that way we won't have any water flowing into the shop. And the drain tile would help to push that out in the way. So it's a quick update. Gotta finish moving stuff around before the pest guy gets here. <laughs>